Okay, so now we're going to work a little bit with audio here. And if we look at our timeline, again, you have to be in the, the timeline view, not the storyboard view. So you notice there's no audio listed here on the storyboard. So we go into the timeline, and you notice you have two audio tracks here. You've got the audio here, and that's just the audio that came, that goes along with the video that we captured. And then we have this empty audio track here, which is something that we can sort of drag um, files into to make them work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually grab this file right here, which is one of the uh, track the files we imported earlier. I'm going to drag it and put it in there. Now you notice there's a little blue, that blue capital I looking thing, and wherever that is, that's where it's going to drop drop that um, file. So if I let go of it there, that's where it's going to end up. And I really don't want the music to be all the way at the end of the movie here. So if I'm not happy with that, I can just grab a hold of this and move it anywhere I want. So I'll slide it all the way to the beginning here. All right. And let's take a look at what that will sound like. Now that's not bad, but you notice that when this video clip came in, the audio that goes along with the video clip really overpowered the uh, the music that we have just added. So what I can do is I can right click on the audio portion of that track, that clip, and go to volume up here. And I can just turn that down a little bit. And that sh Now let's take a listen. That's a lot better. Um, the audio does kind of come in a little bit abruptly there, so one thing I'm, another thing I can do here to help the, help that is go right click the audio track again and go to fade in. So now when this audio comes up, it's not going to start immediately, but it's going to gradually fade in. Let's see what that sounds like. That's much better. It sounds a lot more gradual and and it doesn't really uh doesn't start really harshly there. Okay, so now that I've got the volume of this first clip done the way I want it, I'm going to have to go along to the other clips here and change the audio there as well. So all I'm going to do is right click each one and turn the volume down just a little bit. Okay, so I've got all the volumes roughly the same all across here. So one thing I'm going to show you here now is sort of a way you can fake uh, change volume in the middle of a clip. So in this particular clip here, I've got a little piece of audio that I want to sort of bring up a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. So here's that clip. What I'm going to do is I'm, I know that the what I want has starts right around here. So I'm going to highlight that clip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this to cut it into two separate clips. So now I have this clip where the transition is and then the rest of it here. Now I'm going to play this clip until I there's a little laugh here. I'm going to till the end of the laugh and then I'll pause it and then I'll make another cut. Okay, so right about there should be good. I'll make another cut. Now I've got three clips here that I used, to, which used to be one. So this is the one that I'm going to concern myself with. This is the one that has the audio that I want. So I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. Now 
will be able to hear that laugh much more clearly. Okay, that was pretty good, but if I want to clean it up just a little more, maybe I can fade it in and out a little bit here. So, let's see. I can right-click it again, fade in, right-click, fade out. Let's see if that helped it a little bit. I think that worked out pretty good. So, uh, we've added some music here. We've uh, changed the volumes on some clips. We made a little fake edit here. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my music here because if I look, this music keeps going long after the credits are over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come a few frames after the credits have ended. Uh, and I'm going to cut this music into two separate clips. So now this music is in two clips here. And I'm going to delete that last one. Now it ends roughly where the, um, the credits end. Well, one thing I'm going to do just to make it a little bit cleaner is I'm going to fade it out. Okay, let's just see what that sounds like. That's not too bad. So there's audio. Not much to it really. Um, it does take a little bit of playing around with. Um, Movie Maker is very, very weak in in the audio field. So you you kind of have to learn a few tricks and play around with it a little bit to get what you want. So we've learned about capturing video and from a device and importing it from your computer, importing pictures and music. Uh, we um, we showed you how to uh, cut your clips into shorter clips so that you only have what you want there. We added effects to them, transitions between them, we made some credits, and we messed around with the audio a little bit. So now all we've got left to do really is to save the movie and the project, and that's what we'll talk about next.